Okay, we're going to try one more time to record. <laughs> Because I don't want to have to re-explain this. And so if you're watching the recording, hopefully if it's still staying recording, I've already just kind of base coated around the collage elements. And uh, now I'm going to start putting in some detail. So we'll see if this will work. All right, so I just base, I just put some like black and some uh, maroon, some tealy green and so what I, I start seeing little stories in this and what I try to do is like expand on those stories like for instance I can see like this looks more like like a set back little cave area there so what I would do is then I would start exaggerating or not exaggerating but emphasizing emphasizing certain areas and maybe that's like some rocky areas there and I just kind of look at the card and kind of see what I see in it. This brush is too hard. Let me get a softer brush. Hang on. Yeah, Barb comes on at 2, Vicki B. Thanks for stopping in, by the way. Barb comes on at 2 uh, Eastern Time in about 2 hours. Links are open, guys. Put links in there. She, she comes on every Friday at 2. Alright, so I'm just going to kind of get in. And this brush is too fluffy now. I'm going to kind of go in there with that. And again, because it's coated with matte medium, I can go in here with the baby wipe. Let me grab one here. I can go in here with the baby wipe and smooth things out or adjust things, blend things, because it's coated with matte medium. Okay. Now down here I see a little, like, cliffs, some water, maybe another little cave right in there. And this could be some rocky areas with a little bit of river coming through. So, I might take, let's see, a smaller brush here. So, there might be a river, a river runs through it. There might be a river coming down here. Like this. Oops, I picked up black. Hang on, let me clean my brush. Maybe there's a little bit of river down here some water in front of that little cave there's some rocks right there like let me build those rocks up a little some rocks right in here so maybe some more rocks over in this area here Maybe he's peeking out behind those rocks like that in there. Get a little mint right here and get that kind of cliff thing. So I hope y'all can sort of see. I've been having problems keeping the recording going today on Ustream, which discombobulates you when you're trying to work. Know what I mean, Vern? Right, there's a little cave right in there. All right, I think I'll put some, um, let me go ahead and do some clouds or some stars or some water or something going on here. Um, well, let me hit it with the heat gun real quick. Like a camel. Thanks, Deb Webb. All right, so now, where's my pokey tool? My pokey tool is great for stars. All right, so maybe we'll have something going on here. The sky is all red, and he's hiding in there. Okay, so we'll get a little bit of, and make a little maybe shooting star. And then maybe we'll have a couple other stars lightly touch. Mm. 
And you could do splattering to get these even thinner, but I'm just going to kind of dab a few on. Now, let's see, I think he's going to have, let's do a little bit of some kind of splashy water something going on down here. So this is our little water area here. Maybe there's some splashing going on there. So anyway, this is just kind of how, then I just kind of just keep fiddling. Fiddling. <laughs> oh. But I think I do want some watch hands coming off of that. So let me go ahead and I've got to set it down for that because I can't draw straight lines when I'm holding the card up in the air. Um, but let's do them in the kind of a blue gray. And we're going to go across here. Let's see. Let's go right across his top of his eye here. Do a couple. Look how black again. I keep touching that black. Now I want a little black right there on the edge. Coming out this way too. Now I'll put a blue highlight on it so when it goes off the edge, all my head's not sticking in there. And maybe it'll cross over where that star is coming through. That's kind of cool. All right, I kind of like that. We are war we're warm and friendly here, Miss Vicky B. <laughs> so there you go. That almost looks like something sitting there, almost like a little rabbit. That could be a little fuzzy tail rabbit. Let's go ahead and make a little rabbit sitting in that cave. We'll put a couple little ears on it. Let's put a little couple ears on that little, put a little fuzzy tail. I don't know. Nobody, nobody else may be able to tell what it is, but we know. We know that's a little fuzzy tail rabbit in there. Okay, i got to get his little ear. Hang on, that's not showing up enough. Let's get his little ears showing a little better. We'll put a couple little fuzzy ears on there. Might have to wait till that dries to get a highlight on it. There we go. It's a little bunny. It's a little bunny down there in that cave. See his little fuzzy tail? <laughs> ah, okay, so now let's go back to a little bit more mist. We'll put a little more misty stuff going on here. It's a little more mist hiding that little bunny in that little cave. Shh, light touch. Light touch. Okay. <laughs> okay, we're gonna call that one pretty well done. Now I might want to do a little bit more acts, you know, like some kind of little accent right along that edge, but I gotta let it really kind of sit. So I can't get too much more detail until some of this sets up, but maybe there's some water coming down here. Okay. Like that. So there we go. We're gonna call that one. You can see the little bunny, okay. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to set that one aside. Oh, let me go to this one now because I know I want to put some clouds in this one. Okay, so let me go ahead. First, I probably have to set it down here to get this arch uh, straight because I can't do this in the air. Like, I'm painting most of this holding it up under the camera in the air, but I can't really do too many straight lines or like a nice arch with it in the air. So i got to kind of set it down here. So let me get that little blue arch going. Okay, now I want to define it with a little bit of, let me sharpen it up. Sharpen that up. And I am kind of hurrying because, you know, Barb's over there. She's tapping her foot. No, I'm just kidding. She's really not. She doesn't come on till two. I'm just, I got to, I got to give Barb a little bit of a, you know, little, uh, bit of ragging on there. Okay, so I think I'll put a little bit of highlight on there too, but right now I think I'll, uh, let's go ahead and put this in kind of a, 
maybe some, well, I'm going to have clouds here. Let me do the clouds down here first before I mess with the sky, because I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet. Let's go with this brush here. So I'm going to get a little bit, and I'll hold it up again. So what I want to do is now I want to have clouds coming across here. So I'm going to kind of lose that right there and, and pick up the, you know, the sky right there. I might have to get a little tiny bit of blue. Oops, too much blue. Just so that's not stark white right there. And then I'll kind of go across the mountain right there. If I get too much, I'll get the baby wipe out, but kind of like that. Shh, gently, gently. Okay. A little reflection down here. Let me get a little more white. Let's have a little more reflection in the water. Real lightly right there. Okay, let's go ahead and, and uh, emphasize some more clouds coming up over this arch here. Barely touching. A little bit more. Yes, the indoor voice. Yes, scary. <laughs> I know, right? Oh my gosh. Something like that. Now, if I want to make some like mist, remember I showed y'all how to make mist. Just get a little bit of white and or light blue. And white in your hand and just get a little bit lightly lightly and you can mist you can make a nice soft mist here I don't know if y'all can see that little foggy mist then got a little too much let me just move the baby wipe over kind of mist it out I need some more just get a little bit on the just a tiniest bit I'm like really rubbing it into the baby wipe. So you can get a nice soft, see how it's kind of misting out? Let me get a little bit more blue in that. So you can kind of see how it mists. Maybe a little bit more down in here. A little bit, just a tiny bit, maybe right there. So you see how it looks like mist? Maybe I'll just go ahead and put a little bit at the top here so we can kind of lose that edge. Like that. Gonna get a little bit too. Let me smooth that out a little. A little bit right there. Okay. All right, so I'm going to leave that one. I could put some stars up there, but in this case, I think I'm going to leave it like that. I just kind of like it with the mist. And a little bit of mountains. I might accent just one little highlight of white right here. A little bit, a little bit of light coming across there. Now it needs to come off the edge. All right, next one. All right, so we've got two done. What time is it? 12. Okay, a few more minutes. We can do a couple more, I think. So if y'all are just joining us, these are the other ones we're working on that have already got the collage and the base painting done. Now I'm going in there with all the details. This one will look good, like if you're looking down on maybe swirling. Again, sometimes when I try something a little odd, I'll, I always say, let's see if we can pull this off. Because sometimes it doesn't work. And that's okay, too. All right, let's see. Let me get a little more brush. Oh, not that little. Here we go. All right, let's see. So if you're looking down at this, like let's say you're just looking straight down into the water here. 
I'll have to lose my robot because he's standing up. If I want this to be looking down, like down on that and seeing this and this in the water, the robot wouldn't be standing up this way. So we might have to lose the robot. But what I'm thinking, and I might just try just this area right here and then think about it for a minute. Bye! <laughs> okay. Thanks, Miss Vicky, for popping in. So I think what I want to do is maybe have this almost like a um, a swirl around him. Like, I don't want to say he's going into a, what are those called, you know, when the water, <laughs> uh, but sort of, kind of, and then maybe it swirls around this way. I don't know. What is it called when they're, uh, you know, when the water's making a whirl, not a whirlpool, is it a whirlpool? You know? <laughs> I don't know. A whirlpool. I, I don't think that's what I'm thinking of. A whir Maybe it is a whirlpool I'm thinking of. Something like that, you know? And then this would be more like fading out out here. I'm trying to think about if you're looking down at it. Water spout? Well, no, I'm not really, I'm not going to have it going up in the air. It must be a whirlpool I'm thinking of. Something like that. And then the water, you know, the water's kind of coming right over the top of his little boat right there. I don't know. I think I'm going to let this one sit. I'm going to have to think about this one. All right, we're going to let that one sit. All right, let's go back over. Where's the cat? Let's go to the cat in the cave. We'll do this one, then we'll go. We're, being, we're staying recording for 17 whole minutes here. <laughs> Gene, going down the toilet! <laughs> But you know what? Speaking of Miss Jean, you being the teacher and all, we're going to throw this out at you. I think, is it true? Now, Jen and the girls in Australia are not here. But is it true that the, the, the spin in the toilet water when it goes down and the northern hemisphere goes clockwise and in the southern hemisphere it turns counterclockwise? Or is that just a myth? <laughs> Maybe I'm thinking of an eddy. Yeah, maybe I'm thinking of like an eddy, like a pool going around. Yeah, an eddy. Maybe that's what I'm thinking of, Lynn. But it is true. It is true, Denise. Okay. <laughs> you just never know what you're going to learn here, aren't do you? Okay, so I think what I'm going to have is some kind of like maybe, see how that looks like maybe icicles or water dripping or something like that? We're going to run with that. So funny. Uh, okay, so we're going to have some kind of, maybe some water dripping off these rocks. Let's go with some water. It could be water. It could be, we'll have some splashing up. It could just be something, you know, I don't know. Use your imagination. <laughs> but we'll finish this one, then we'll go, guys. And don't forget, you know, Barb comes on at 2. Hopefully we got two, at least two decent parts to this show because the the recording kept stopping, guys, and I wasn't going to do like 20 one-minute shows. <laughs> and Eddie causes a whirlpool. Thank you, Sarah O. You know, you forget these things when you're, you, you know, you just hadn't read about it in a long time or you're out of school or whatever, you know? If you don't, if it doesn't come to your mind, you just kind of wonder sometimes. All right, so we're going to have him like stepping in the water here. He's going to have some little, you know, his little paws are getting wet. And I think what we'll do is we might even have, let's see if I can get enough, let me get the excess water off this little mini brush here. But it could be splashing down here off this window, down onto the little cat's ear, and splashing off of him. This isn't the right brush for this. 
it's I'm picking up too much water in the brush. And then maybe it's just kind of pulling off down that away like that. Like that? What do y'all think? <laughs> oh, we'll love to play. Then it's splashing off this rock. Maybe it's coming this way and then kind of going down that little crevice right there. And then this side, maybe it's just giving us a little splash down there. Something like that. That's kind of cool, isn't it? What do y'all think? Needs a little bit more definition on his ear there. Needs a little bit more... He's not happy. He is not happy. <laughs> All right, let's do a little bit more. Something up here at the top. I'm barely touching the car. I'm just, I mean, this is like, this is fussy painting at the max here. <laughs> and then we'll put maybe one or two stars up in here. I'm just using the back of my paintbrush there. So thanks everybody for hanging in with the uh, quirky U stream today. Maybe we'll put a couple stars right behind. Let's put one right over his head, a little shooting star right there. That'll be awesome. A little bit brighter. Let me, fit, let me fussy in there. Not that brush is too flared out. Let me get a different one. I'll fix that little bit of shooting star right there. There we go. There we go. So anyway guys, I will finish up at least a couple more of these and I'll post a picture in a little while on Twitter. And if y'all don't follow me on Twitter, if you're watching this recording, it's Inky Well, I-N-K-I-W-E-L-L, -L -L, Inky Well, and that's the same on IG, and then I'm Dee Dee Willingham on Facebook. And um, all my artwork in my folder, I got albums, you go to the albums on Facebook, I have a color book with all my color book collection and things I'm coloring. I have a uh, Gold Rush Crew portrait album, regular art. I got my Inktober album. So uh, yeah, and they're all public, so you don't have to follow me or anything to go over there and look at them. So anyway, I will finish these up, grab me some lunch, and try to get over there to Barb's. Barb Bark, do Barb, yeah, Barb Bark is still here. How the boys doing, Barb? Do they miss me? Barb has two awesome Siamese cats that really want to live with me, but they're putting up with Barb, but they really want to live. I'm their real mama. I, I, I claim them. <laughs> I, claim, I claim those kitties. So anyway, guys, here's a couple that are not done yet. Here's an elephant one. Maybe I'll work on this one. Here's the one with the, like a bonsai tree on a mountain that we got to finish. Um, this one, I'm not sure what I want to be. Almost could see little people up there in a balcony looking down on something going on down here with the watch hands coming out there. Um, yeah, the Eddie Whirlpool thing. Not so sure about this yet. Then this one. This looks like a water wheel to me. Maybe if we go this way. No, I liked it that way. I think this needs to be a water wheel. Water, like, rolling around there and dropping off. Some kind of a water 
system thing. And then there's the one we did with the clouds and the mountains. Yep, they put up with bar. <laughs> there's our camel and the little bunny rabbit. And then here's the one with the cat who does not like being splashed with water. <laughs> anyway, guys, thanks for being here. Hopefully, I, I'll save a couple parts out of these uh, multiple recordings. And uh, we'll see you all over at Barb. Thanks for being here. And, um, yeah, y'all have a good weekend. Bye.